guys, I'm Kate Simsley, and welcome to my channel. Um, so this is the first video I'm posting of a build in Tartosa. I had builds ready to post, but I've been very, very distracted. I got, like, obsessed with watching footage of the, like, war, the Russian-Ukraine war, and it, honestly, it, like, consumed me. It wasn't even funny. I had to, like, drag myself out of a very deep hole and come back to reality. <laughs> so here I am, and here is a build. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath family home. It is right on the water. Uh, you can see the name of the lot at the top left of the screen. I don't know the names of these lots yet. Um, but it is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's really spacious and bright, and I, I really like it. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I put a flat roof on it. It's kind of like Greek style. I was inspired by the Greek style, and I think it's great. There's two little patios at the back. One is like a kitchen patio, so it's got like a barbecue and a table, and the other one is like a little sitting area that connects to the master bedroom and the kids' bedroom. Uh, the other one just connects to the master and the living area, so... I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out, and hopefully you will be too. I'm not going to talk through this whole video. My throat is super sore, as it always is, but it's more sore today. And yeah, I'll talk to you for a bit, though, and just chatter about what's been going on. Like I said, I, uh, this is my first build. I got very consumed with the Russian-Ukraine war and got myself very deep into a hole that I should never have been in. And so I dug myself out, and here I am now. And hopefully you'll enjoy this build as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm really... I like the new pack. I think it's pretty cool. This new world is absolutely stunning. And yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out, like I just said. And, uh... It's spacious. It's only two bedrooms. But there's a lot of space. Like, the rooms are not huge. Not any of the rooms. Like, the dining room, small, kitchen, small, living rooms, whatever. There's no TV, because I figure you live on the water. You're not going to watch TV all day. But they're nice-sized, and it's airy and bright, and I think they're going to spend most of their time outside. And so I've got a huge family pool, and it has a large patio, and it's all, um, like, clay tiling is what I used. I figured that's what you would use in a Mediterranean-style home, and so that is what is wrapping all the way around the house and around the pool. There's a very small, simple garden off to the side and a couple of plants out front. But nothing too extravagant. It's mostly like, I don't know, what I pictured would be like in a desert kind of area or on a beach. So nothing too green, but some like spiky plants and some cactuses and whatever. The pool here, I use the tile from the kit, the Garden Oasis kit or whatever it was called. And I did like a little pattern in the bottom of the pool and I think that turned out well. At the end, you'll see I add little lights in the bottom. But for now, I put a drain and I end up hating it because the drains are so big. So I removed it and instead I added a uh, little floor lights. They came from spotting. You'll see at the end anyway. I think it looks much better. But I think the family that would live here would spend 99% of their time out by this pool. I assume, because I would. Especially, like, on such a beautiful property. This is not a cheap home. I think it's, like, around 80000 somewhere near there. So, like, it's not a starter home by any means. But, uh, it's more for a well-off family. You can obviously tell, being on the water, you're going to be spending a heck of a lot more money. I really don't think this lot was intended for a residential. I think it was, like, supposed to be some kind of wedding venue or something. But, and I do actually, I did a build that is a wedding venue, so that'll be coming out in a few days. I gotta edit it all. I'm not really sure I'm even happy with it. I'm probably gonna post it anyway. Not in love with it. I'll do a better one for you. But yeah, that'll be coming in a few days. So this is the garden area I was talking about. There's just a couple of, like, leafy plants, and then some spiky plants, and a cactus. And that, like, cool ball tree seemed to fit the vibe here pretty well. So I stuck that there, and I put a little llama in the middle, and I thought that that worked well. Other than that, there's not a whole lot. I didn't want to put a whole lot of plants. I figured it's going to be very, like, minimal landscaping. I did use terrain paint that looks like, it almost looks like stone, but I think it's supposed to be, like, mulch or whatever. So I put that along there. And then I put some patio chairs for you to lounge on uh, by the wall here. I added some lighting 
And at night time, it just looks beautiful. I didn't put a whole lot of lighting. I wanted to put like a bunch of tall lamps, but it made it too bright and it looked strange. Like you're by the water and you just want to kind of sit there and relax at night and listen to the waves or the dolphins or the seagulls or whatever. And yeah, just enjoy your view. And so I didn't really want to distract from that. Like the fence already distracts from it a little bit because it's a pretty high fence and there is a lot of greenery on the top of it. So I didn't want to add more distractions, if that makes sense. I did add lights all along in the little garden here and I think it looks super cute. I wish these lights, I don't know, I just find they don't let off a lot of upward light, which I found very strange. They should have more. They should add more. I don't know. Anyway, not going to complain about it. It's totally fine. But yeah, so I chose a flat roof, and I'm going to end up, at the end I paint it, and on the front, in one of the screenshots, you don't see it, but in one of them you do, I put like a, one of those signs, I think it's supposed to be for a restaurant, it's like handwriting, like, whatever you call handwriting, you know what I mean, cursive writing, and I think that's supposed to be like the house number in my mind, and I think it turned out, it looks really cute, but in one of the screenshots, it's not there, but you will see it in one of them. So we're just going to change the color of the pillars, we painted the outside of the house, and I add some stepping stones at some point to the stairs there. Uh, the front room here, I put that long ceiling lamp. And I add a mirror. And that's about it. We're going to move on into the lip. We add flooring. That's right. I put, like, the clay tiling all through the house as well. I just chose a lighter, more pinkish swatch. And I put it throughout the house. Because in a Mediterranean home, I know that, like, tiling throughout the house is the norm. They don't really have carpet. Because, you know, especially if you're on the beach, you'll get sand on your carpet. And that'd be awful. So I did use the clay tiling throughout. And in the main area and hallway, I used this, like, brick. I think it's actually from country kitchen or cottage living or something. But it worked really well, and so I opted to use that in the front room and the hallway. But yeah, you'll watch it come together pretty quick. We start out in the kitchen. Um, I do put these doors in the living room, but I end up switching them for the island living doors because, honestly, the island living doors are set as the lowest wall height, but they were not much shorter than the medium doors that I had there, and I thought they looked better, so I ended up switching it and putting those there. We're going to start in the kitchen, and it comes together pretty quick. It's basic. I used the Snowy Escape, Snowy Escape countertops. And I put two big windows in the kitchen. So you're, when you're doing the dishes, you're going to be looking out over the ocean. And I thought that was just fabulous. It would actually make me want to do dishes. Not going to lie. So that was my thinking there. I did put double ovens. You have two stoves and two ovens in your kitchen. And then I added a ton of clutter. You don't see it happen, but you will see the final result. You see a little bit of it happen, but not a whole lot. And I put the hood there with a light in it. And I thought that was pretty good. For the sink, I just use, um, like a copper sink. I'm going to switch it sides like five times. I couldn't decide where I wanted it. But it ends up going back to the other side after. And I think, I think it looks good. I put a little dish rack and then I just add a bunch of clutter. So you can watch that come together. That's about it. Other than that, I haven't been up to do much. Yesterday, I had to go to the city for a doctor's appointment. And this is a doctor's appointment that I've been, like, dying to have. I have, uh, literally been stalking this doctor for three years. I've been emailing, calling at least three times a week to try and get in to see him. Unfortunately, I got in to see him and there, he can't help me. Turns out he can't. But the good news is he did know who can and so he did refer me. So now I just have to wait for that. But it's a pain in the butt. It was a very long trip for nothing. Like getting there took about two hours. Getting back took about four hours because of traffic. And it was kind of a pain in the ass, so I do have to go back down there next month, and fingers crossed I will have better luck. But yeah, it was a, it was a waste of a day. So, that was kind of sad, and actually it really upset me, I'm not going to lie, like I was pretty upset about it. I was really hoping that he would be able to help me out, but he can't. But, like I said, he knows who can, and that, of course, is a positive, and it's what I'm trying to focus on. So yeah, I don't know what you guys have been up to. The new pack obviously came out. Have you been playing it? Do you enjoy it? I haven't tried the gameplay yet. I, like I said, I built a wedding venue that I'm not overly thrilled with. Other than that, I honestly haven't touched it. I haven't tried the gameplay. And I'm not really sure that I have much interest in trying it. I've heard a lot of negative um, feedback about it online. 
But then I also heard last night that a patch is coming out for it in very soon. So hopefully that'll fix any issues anyone's having and things can get better before we get another pack and it just messes it up even more. But yeah, other than that, like I said, I haven't been up to too much. Just kind of been here in a hole watching footage about the terrible, terrible war in Ukraine. And my heart goes out to anyone over there that is affected by it. I do love to see how communities come together to help. And I think that's wonderful. I just wish they didn't have to. The footage that I saw was absolutely horrific. And I just can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. I don't know what I would do. Like, everyone's freaking out right now. It's the biggest thing that Russia being involved. Obviously, there's a fear of nuclear war. Um, I don't think that's going to happen personally. I don't. Personally, I do not think that Putin wants to die. I think he's a sick, twisted man. No offense to anyone who's Russian, but Putin is not a very healthy man. He is very sick and very twisted, but he's also a control freak who loves attention and has to be in control. And so I cannot see him wanting to die. And that's essentially what would happen. If he hit the button to launch a nuke, obviously every other country would hit a button to launch a nuke. And he would guarantee die. Granted, most of us would die, but he would definitely die. And I don't think he wants that. And so I don't see that happening. But anyway, it's all very depressing and very sad. I am so sorry if you are affected by this, if you're anywhere near there, or if you know anyone that is affected by this. I'm it's I'm so sorry. It's so sad and so traumatic. And I can't even imagine my heart just goes out to these people. Yeah, going back, you saw the kitchen come together and the dining room came together very quickly. I put some plants in the window, hung some curtains, and then that's about it. From there, we're going to move on and do the two bathrooms. There's one small, like it's a powder room by the front door, and then there will be another bathroom uh, over towards the bedroom. So I watched them to come together. After that, it's just two bedrooms, and then we're all done. I did the whole outside first, and so after that, that's about it. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say, so I'm going to go. I've got a few other things I have to work on, and I will leave you to watch the rest of this with some lovely music, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you've been up to. Even your thoughts on the Russian-Ukraine war. I would love to hear it. I'd love to chat, hear your opinions, so on and so forth. I think it'd be wonderful. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. That would help me out. And yeah, my origin ID and all the information about my socials are in the links below. I would love to see you wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a spectacular day. Bye! I'm out of Open.
in my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless.
away Oh, help me get back again Cause we had love enough A bit of time, a bit of love Shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are Something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Your attention, this 
this time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you till the morning comes Oh baby, love me like you did Love me like you did Oh baby, kiss me till I see the light Like you did last night Night Like you did last night Night Could it be that I'm lucky To have found someone Who is just as crazy as me Or is it just in my mind Yet too soon 